Hey everyone, this is Dylan Ekron from Mold3D, and today in this video I want to show you the kinds of things that I like to think about when I'm approaching creating a base mesh for a character like this in ZBrush. So let's get started. One of the advantages of starting with a good base mesh in ZBrush is it allows you to figure out the proportions of your character first and then have a good strong foundational object that you can build your sculpt on. So the first thing that I'll do when starting any project is analyze the concept art that I'll be working from to figure out which pieces I need to construct, especially for a base mesh, so that I'm working in an efficient way and not cluttering myself with too many extraneous pieces of information or extra detail. So I won't always do a drawing like this, but I'm kind of showing you here to illustrate my point. I've got a line drawing that I did over the top of my concept art just to isolate the major forms of this character. And then I went ahead and filled in each of those major forms with a color that'll correspond to a shape that I'll build in ZBrush. I wanna keep my entire base mesh as few pieces as possible so that it's easier to work with. I also know that I'll be modeling this character mostly in T-Pose to begin with, so I don't need to worry too much about breaking up the arms and legs into multiple pieces. Sometimes people will separate the upper and lower half of the legs, or maybe add an extra piece of geometry in there for a knee. So now that I've created a roadmap for myself in Photoshop, I'm ready to jump into ZBrush with a clear picture in my head of what exactly I need to build to get started. So this is basically how I would approach my breakdown for beginning to block out my mesh. Just a simple tip that helps speed up my process and something you can consider trying out on your next sculpt. I hope you enjoyed my approach and tomorrow I'll be showing you how I sculpt my base mesh in ZBrush. Please look out for the next video and thanks for watching.